Hello everyone! Welcome to a new episode of Macarena Basic Tips. In today's video, we'll cover something that hasn't got as much attention as mechs or weapons so far, but is no less important. That's right, we're going to talk about implants. Since being introduced, their impact on customization has been huge. In this video, we're going to discuss how implants can be the key to building a loadout that matches your playstyle. Okay, first things first. What are implants and how do they work? Implants are a part of pilot's loadout. Once installed, they improve certain characteristics of mechs and weapons. Such as? Well, the list is long, but each implant brings its own effect. It might enhance weapon range, reload speed, mech ability duration, or provide any number of other stat boosts. There's a full list in-game. Sounds good. So, how do I install implants? Head to your hangar and select any of your pilots. Just install an implant in an empty slot to activate the buff. Sounds simple enough. And it looks like I can have more than one. You can. Each pilot has a certain number of implant slots depending on their rarity. Rare pilots have two slots. Epics get three. And legendaries can have four juicy boosts active at any one time. Speaking of rarity, it looks like implants have rarities just like pilots. Yep, you'll find rare, epic, and legendary implants. The rarer the implant, the better it usually is. But don't worry, you can use any implant with any pilot. So I can use a legendary implant with a rare pilot? Yes, they're universally compatible. Good to know. So you mentioned a few different types of effects implants can have. Can you give me a few examples? Well, firstly, they can buff weapon damage. You'll find a weapon damage implant for every single weapon in the arena. Nice. I'll definitely take one of those. And there's more. For the weapons that deal AOE damage, you can use an implant to enhance the splash radius. You can even increase the magazine size of certain weapons, or speed up the reload. Right, so I can make my long arms reload faster. Oh yeah, and increase the range of your arc torrents too, if you like. There are a ton of possibilities. Oh, please tell me I can stack four legendary damage implants on one pilot and mow down the competition with some OP autocannons. Well, <laughs> as much as that sounds like some good old-fashioned game-breaking fun, no. You can't stack multiple implants of the same type. Hmm, spoil sport. Sorry, but the good news is, implants don't just give your weapons a boost, they can improve your mech's abilities too. Okay, I'm listening. What can they do? There are rare implants and epic implants that increase the duration of your mech's special abilities, or decrease the ability cooldown time. Okay, so they'll decrease the cooldown for any mech? Exactly. However, several epic and legendary implants boost specific mech abilities. We're talking faster healing, additional durability for shields, a taller stasis barrier for panther. Wow. What about my Guardian? Can I extend? Yes, you can extend the range of Guardian system crash ability. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Okay, I've got a question. Shoot. You mentioned that we can stack duplicate implants into the same mech. So what would I do with those spares? Do they just sit there clogging up my inventory? You can keep them, if you're the hoarding type. Personally, I prefer to dismantle them for implant parts. What do parts do? Parts can be used to level up other implants. Each implant has six levels, and each level increases the implant's bonus. So I can level up my mechs, my pilots, my weapons, and my implants? Exactly. And just like leveling a mech or a weapon, the higher the level of the implant, the more parts you need. Same goes for rarity. Okay, so what happens if I want to take an implant off one pilot and give it to another? Can I do that? Absolutely. You can remove any implant at any time, but its level gets reset when you unplug it, so you'll have to level it up again. Oh, okay. Do I lose the parts I already invested in leveling it the first time? Not necessarily. The free method gives you back 30% of the implant parts you invested. Alternatively, you can pay a few A coins to get the full amount back. Sounds sweet. All right, you've sold me on implants. Where do I get them? There are several ways. The first one is the pilot tab in the shop. You get two free basic implant crates daily. You can get six more implants in exchange for credits or acorns in the same tab. There's a selection to choose from, and that selection changes every day. If you're looking for something in particular, you can refresh the list for 80 acorns. And in the same section of the shop, you can get an advanced implant crate with an epic or a legendary implant in it. If you select the little eye icon, you can see information about the crate, and from there you can select the eye icon next to the advanced implant crate to see the drop rates for each potential reward. Gotcha. Good to know. Can I get implants as rewards too? Sure, you can get implants from Crate Rush and Playoff events. Make sure to check the rewards so you don't miss out. Sounds good. Anything else I should know? Actually, yeah. One last tip. At first, you won't have any duplicate implants, which means you don't have anything to scrap for parts. If you want to level up fast, you can get implant parts from the Pilot tab in the shop or earn them from in-game events. Got it. Well, 
That was awesome. It sounds like implants are going to totally change the way I play the game. Thanks for the rundown. Anytime. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. For more hints and tips, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the arena. Until, Until next time. time.